The cosmic tapestry The cosmos is a vast and living tapestry. The universe pulses with motion. A breathing fabric of stars, energy, and time. Woven across distances so great, they defy imagination. Galaxies spin silently in the dark. Their spiral arms unfurl like whirlpools of light. Each holds hundreds of billions of suns. Some glow with newborn stars. Others fade quietly, their fires nearly spent. Stars rise from clouds of gas and dust. They ignite with brilliance. For millions, even billions of years, they burn. Their light and gravity shape entire systems. Yet every star, no matter how mighty, must end. Some collapse into white dwarfs, embers of creation. Others fall into neutron stars, so dense a spoonful outweighs mountains. The greatest become black holes, where gravity rules absolutely. Even light cannot escape. They stand as monuments of cosmic history. Silent tombstones of creation. Planets and moons follow ancient paths drawn by gravity. Some lie frozen in silence. Others churn with storms, oceans, and rings of ice. Each world is a chapter in the great story of the cosmos. And beyond all of this, the universe itself expands. The fabric of space stretches. Galaxies are carried farther and farther apart. The first spark of creation, the Big Bang, still echoes outward. This expansion is relentless. It has no edge. No boundary. No wall to touch. Every attempt to measure it slips away, like a horizon that forever retreats. With the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity now sees deeper than ever before. Its golden mirror gathers ancient light. Galaxies born near the dawn of time whisper across billions of years to reach our fragile world. Each discovery is a window into the past. Yet with every answer come harder questions. Why does the universe expand faster than expected? What hidden matter binds galaxies together? And where, in all this immensity, are the voices of others? If life is natural, why is the night sky silent? Are we alone? Or simply too early, or too late, to hear another civilization's call? Astronomers estimate two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Two trillion islands of stars. Each with its own worlds. Its own possibilities. And yet, this staggering number is only what we can see. Beyond that reach, reality may be stranger and larger than even our boldest dreams allow. Carl Sagan once said, We are a way for the cosmos to know itself, and it is true. We are stardust, atoms born in ancient stars. We are the cosmos, reflecting on itself. Every question we ask is an echo of the original fire. Every heartbeat carries the memory of creation. This truth humbles us. But it also empowers us. Curiosity is not a luxury. It is our compass. Our strength. Our destiny. It drives us to search for black holes. To map distant worlds. To listen for the faintest whispers of ancient light. Even across the void, we remain connected to the stars that birthed us. Now, we stand at the threshold of a new era. With instruments like Webb, we glimpse galaxies in their infancy. We search alien skies for water, methane, carbon dioxide, the building blocks of life. But time does not wait. Stars will die. Galaxies will drift apart. The universe will continue its endless expansion, indifferent to us. Here, in this fleeting moment, we hold a rare chance. To remain small and divided, or to rise together, curious, courageous, and visionary. The future of exploration will not be measured only by rockets and telescopes. 
It will be measured by how we see ourselves. Are we fragile wanderers adrift? Or seeds of consciousness destined to bloom among the stars? The story of the cosmos is not finished. The next chapter begins with us. Here, on this pale blue dot, with courage in our hearts, curiosity in our minds, and starlight in our eyes, we step forward. The universe waits for us. Vast. Mysterious. Beautiful. It invites us to wonder. To dream. To explore. And perhaps one day, we will discover that in all its immensity, the universe has been waiting for us.